Hey there folks, Mark here on the Culinary Compass reading the morning paper. Not really. Go Elizabeth. We have a massive Senate race here in Massachusetts. Yeah, I'm on my way over this afternoon to a town near here to see Elizabeth Warren and uh, rally in her support. Um, and I was thinking, you know, what am I going to do about food today? Because the rally is coming at such a time that I'm going to miss lunch. And so I was thinking about the symbolism of today's rally. Like, what does this mean to me? And what could today's food mean in relation to this rally? Anyway, so the first thing I did is I went to my garden because I, I always like to kind of go from the core, you know, and what more is the core than what you grow. So I went to the garden and the first thing that I, I thought of is bitterness. I'm really sorry. Well, it's autumn, so there's very few things in the garden to harvest, but horseradish, and I do grow my own horseradish and you should, it's so easy. Horseradish uh, is a root vegetable, basically. Um, really sharp, grated on stuff, uh, it's remarkable. Fresh horseradish on a piece of steak, oh my god. So I figured, you know what, I'm feeling pretty freaking bitter. I'm feeling bitter that Elizabeth Warren is like the first really progressive candidate, other than like a Bernie Sanders, to come along in so long running for a senatorial seat, for that level. So let me try that out. Bitterness is not going over well. All right, so the next thing I was thinking about was sweetness, redemption. Whenever I see Elizabeth Warren, she seems so sweet. And it also feels so sweet to know like, oh my goodness, this woman is gonna really have an impact and sweet redemption, right? And after some bitterness, this is my homemade blueberry jam. But I thought even that doesn't do it. That's not sweet enough. So what I figured I would do is couple it with one of the things I love most in life, which is chocolate. So a nice piece of chocolate, a nice blueberry jam. Let's see how this tastes. Mm. That's working. I then was thinking, wait a minute, Mark, check yourself here. This sucks. This really sucks. It's like, she's, a, she's behind in the polls. She really could lose this thing. And if she loses, it's going to feel horrendous. It's not going to just be stay away from me. And so I figured, you know, this. This is how it's going to feel. Like a nice, steamy, fresh piece of dog shit. It's going to feel like shit. So shit on a stick. I can't. I'm going to try, okay? I'm not going to try. Okay, but that's how I'm going to feel. And, you know, this is an edible product. I know it is, but oh my god. Okay, so having said all that, bitterness, stay the frack away from me, feeling like shit, sweetness, I found it. I found exactly what it is that will most perfectly represent um, how I will feel today, how I will feel even if she loses. You know, I've graduated now that I'm 50 years old, I'm able to like accept loss a little more effectively. So this is how I'm gonna feel, okay? She deserves nothing but to be celebrated. This moment today deserves nothing but to be celebrated. The fact we even have her running for Senate is unbelievable. So here is to Elizabeth, but here is more to the people who are gonna be at her rally today, who probably, even if she loses, have a little bit of this in them too. So for the Culinary Compass, ciao for now.